Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anelia. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Y'all, I just kind of did a little thing to my face. Um, I have on concealer and blush and lip gloss, and then I put on some lashes. I just wanted to feel just a little bit put together, but I didn't feel like doing that entire face. I want to get on the road today to um try to get some decor. Oh my gosh, happy Vlogmas, guys! <laughs> yeah, it's Vlogmas. I really, really wanted to do Vlogmas this year, like posting from the first, but I'll just post the rest of the month. So I'll still do 25 days because most people stop posting on... Um, this lighting is actually not that great. Let me do better. Hold on. Okay, yay haul. Um, I really wanted to post from the first, but I'm just gonna post from now through to the end of December. It's gonna go off on a tangent, and I just really wanna say, y'all, the Lord truly does work in mysterious ways, and it's so essential for us to, you know, have faith and just believe in Him because i feel like what's happened even though it's not necessarily a positive thing i think it's you know the lord's way of redirection and i believe that it's going to be a testimony for me to share i'm not going to go into details about what it is right now but at first i had such a sad feeling about it and i just it was really weighing on me but i don't feel sad anymore i do feel like the lord does do things sometimes that if you look at them in with your you know earthly eyes then it will look like oh this is a bad thing or whatever but when you think about how it all comes together and that scripture all things work together for good is really really true um i think that as humans a lot of the time when we don't follow the last direction and we don't do things precisely how he would prescribe it's out of fear and a lack of faith because you don't believe that if you leave things up to him that he's going to do what you want him to do so you take the matters into your own hands and we cannot force things there's nothing that we can really do in this life off our own there's nothing that you can force and make happen and as humans that's just what we want to believe like i want to believe that if if I get up tomorrow and I do 10 things, then it's guaranteed that the next step is going to be for me to get what I want. But that's not the case. We have to include God in everything that we're doing and allow for the Lord to do things in his way and in his own time. So I just believe that this is going to be a testimony for me. I believe that um, even though it's not necessarily positive, it's having a positive impact on my life because I was not having a close relationship with god and this is really making me you know really draw nearer to him and uh, yeah i just want to put that in there and say god is really good and god is truly amazing and if there's something that you need from him if there's something that you need to happen in your life do not hesitate to ask the lord because he's our father and as i'm a mom I know that there's nothing that my child needs that I would deny him, regardless of what he's done, regardless of if he's good or not, if he's been screaming and keeping me up all night, I still would not deny him of his needs, you know? So whatever you need from the Lord, just let it be known. And uh, yeah, let's get on the road. Because I don't know why I'm preaching to y'all, but I just felt like I needed to say something about that. Yeah. Yeah, y'all, and that idea that um, things were not in my control, I just really didn't like before. I didn't like the idea of just like praying the prayer of Lord, your will be done. It never felt good to me. I guess I just wanted that that ability to my actions bring what bring forth what I want. But now. It actually feels comforting and freeing to me to know like things aren't in my control but I have a father in heaven that is working on my behalf and that will do things on my behalf how beautiful that is because our reach as humans is so limited anyway there's only so much that I can do there's only so far that I can go and my knowledge is so limited so why would i want to be the one to be in control why wouldn't i want to submit 
to the power of the God, the creator of the universe, whatever it is that I desire. And the fact that he knows my heart's desires and he knows that, you know, it's like God's the one that made us. He knows what we want. He knows what we desire for ourselves. He knows where we want to be. And um, I just don't feel anymore like I need to be the one that's like trying to move all the chess pieces for my life to go the way that I want it to go because I know that God He's all seen and all knowing and he has the power and he knows what I need more than I do. Mm. Mommy duties. I'm just going to feed him and then I'm gonna go on the road. I wanna see if I can find some Christmas decor because I wanna Christmas decorate. <laughs> um yeah. So we need to get like some lights or something yeah i just want us to get like some lights or i don't know i'm trying to keep the christmas decor as minimal mm. and as cheap as possible this year because i don't know why but they be taxing on mm. these christmas stuff it's like it's not cheap at all so i'm gonna see what i can get i might try out like family dollar or something like that i don't know Um, I'm using Kay Ali Love Fest. I just got the small one at Sephora. It smells really good. It just smells like an exotic cherry. Um, I think I'll go ahead and get the bigger one. Another fragrance that I really love is um, Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. That fragrance is so good, but it's just really expensive. All of Killian's fragrances are pretty expensive. Y'all, look at the sunset. So cute. Let me let me turn the camera.
Ross did not have that much stuff and I need to go home and cook dinner so I think I'm going to finish um, decor shopping another day because they didn't really have that much but I don't want to be out on the road anymore it's 7 30 and I still need to go home and make dinner I had taken off um, like I took steak out of the fridge to cook but I'm not even sure if that's what I'm gonna do or if I'm gonna do something quick like um maybe I'll stop at Publix and get some wings and put a frozen pizza in so not sure what's gonna happen yet but definitely need to go Malakai so I'm just about ready to make dinner I'm going to decorate tomorrow I didn't get a lot of stuff like I tried to tell you guys um so I think I'm gonna have to go back to the store but I'm gonna get dinner going right now I got some water boiling so I'm going to cook dinner now and I'll show you guys what I end up making and yeah then I still have to edit and try to get this up today because it's so it's actually so hard recording and editing the same day tomorrow i'm going to get to earlier start on the day because i actually didn't start today you know at a reasonable time to be able to be done and post same day so listen learn i'll do better tomorrow <laughs> video i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you tomorrow for day two of vlogmas bye y'all well it's actually gonna be like day six but day two for me i have a great time bye